Today we're going to learn how to make blinds for a camper van, motorhome or van. I spent a lot of time trying to decide how I wanted my blinds to be for my van. This was the end design that I came up with which mainly uses magnets. What you need to do first is create a template. I did this by taking a piece of paper and squishing it into the corner of each of the windows. Using a pen I then gave myself a rough guide and cut this out with scissors. I wanted the magnet to sit in between the black piece of the window and the rays of the side of the van. You then want to measure the width and height of each of the windows. In order to create the blinds, I'm going for a layer of reflectix and then the material I wanted on the edge. These are then going to be secured in place with bias binding around the edge to finish it off. You may find that some of your corners of the van are different from others, so make sure that you've got stencils for each corner that may be different. Cut out a piece of reflectix that measures the height and width that you've just measured. Draw around the stencil for each of the corners and then cut it out. You'll notice that I bought a bit of Reflectix that was four centimetres too short, so I've had to sew two bits together in order to create the width for the smaller windows at the back. I'll link in the description below all of the pieces that I bought. You'll be able to find everything on Amazon. Once you've cut all your corners, make sure you check it in the van. You'll see that this now fits the whole of the internal of the window. Lay your piece of Reflectix on top of the material that you want to use. For the big side window, I'm going to sew three lines through the middle in order to keep it together and then cut all the way around the edge. I didn't want to pin the Reflectix in order to pop unnecessary bubbles in it. I secured it roughly in place with duct tape. For the back two windows, I sewed one line down the middle of the fabric and Reflectix in order to hold them together more securely. This has then very neatly created a really nice fold in it so that when I take them off of the window, I can store them much easier. I sewed this line down the original seam that I had made. Once you've got your line down the middle to hold it in place, then very carefully sew round the edge. I found that sewing with the Reflectix in the bottom didn't allow for the material to move. I did try it originally the other way round, but the material moved much quicker than the Reflectix. Make sure you're pulling the material not too tightly in order to curl up the Reflectix on the underneath but tightly enough so that you don't end up with too much material when you then get to the other edge of the line. Make sure you remember to remove the duct tape from each bit as you go along. You'll see for this one I didn't quite manage to pull it tight enough.
Once you've sewn all the way around the outside, trim the fabric back to the edge of the reflectix. Take your bias binding and fold it in half round the edge so that it sits on top of the material on one side and the reflectix on the other. This is going to hide your edge really well and also not allow the fabric to fray on the top. Again, try not to pin it but slowly work your way round the edge of the fabric, folding the bias in half as you go along. This can be quite fiddly but stick with it. Once you get to the end, cut the piece of bias and fold it back on itself to create a neat seam and then sew it down to complete the edge. Next I'm going to show you how to create the little pockets that I made for the magnets. I sewed these on afterwards and created these little pockets by hand. I'll link these magnets in the description below. Take one of your magnets and measure out a piece of bias. You want it to be roughly double the length of the magnet. Fold the bias in half so that you've got the two inside seams touching. This bias binding was 25 millimeters wide. These magnets were the perfect width for the bias that I bought. These were the third set of magnets that I bought. The other two weren't strong enough in order to hold the weight of the fabric. Once you've sewed the full length of the seam, fold the edge in on itself twice and then sew up that edge as well. Repeat this on the other side.
make sure you pop the magnet back into the casing before you sew up the last edge. You will then have made a casing for the magnet with three edges sewn up. The fourth is then the fold of the bias. You want this to be quite sturdy as the magnets are quite strong. I created 8 magnet pockets for each of the back door blinds and 10 magnet pockets for the large side door window. I then sewed 3 edges of the magnet casing onto each of the blinds. I wanted them to sit quite flush to the corners and not allow any light to come in. So you can see how close to the corner I then placed them when I sewed them. The two back door ones I fold in half and the magnets are so strong that they hold them in place above the back door window on each side. We store them here while driving. The three folds in the side window blind also allow it to fold into four really easily. They're really easy to put up and to take down along with storing. Here I'm attempting to show you how blackout they are. And then they are finished in place. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned for my next video.